Hey traders, Yolanda here with ExtraordinaryTrading.com. Okay guys, I am back with a with part two of the Aussie Japanese Yen swing trade that the course members and I took a couple of weeks ago. Almost two weeks ago is when we um, closed out the first portion of that position. So if you are new to my channel, there is a part one to this video. A little over a month ago, I launched version two of my swing trading course and included in that course is a support period and trading ideas period. So what I do is I communicate in advance what trade I've got on my radar, the entry price and the profit targets and um, I'll give them some idea of you know the stop loss area as well. Now before I take any of those trades, I send out an email communicating to them that hey now this you know I'm getting ready to get into this trade or you know I'm, I'm about to enter when price drops to this specific price so that they are in the know as to what I'm doing and I also provide updates on trade management so in this case we ended up buying or those who chose to take the trade um, bought at 83 okay so this is the Aussie Japanese yen and I had our first profit target at 84.75. Okay, great exit. We got it right here, um, right towards the highs of this candlestick. And again, these prices are communicated in advance so people can already have their orders in the system. That's one of the benefits of swing trading where you don't need to be glued to your screen. It's low activity and high profit ideally, okay? And so in low risk, low risk because you're minimizing the number of trades you take, okay? That's one of the whole purposes of that a lot of people choose to swing trade, okay? So at this point, okay, we're up 175 pips on the first position, okay? And about $1,415 per lot in profit, okay? The margin requirements for a lot isn't that much and outside of the United States it's really 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 low okay very very low I mean the margin requirements for one lot outside of the United States is about two hundred dollars for this trade actually less than two hundred dollars okay and so um you know very very minimal amount now obviously you need to have more money than that you need to be able to tolerate price moving around and potentially being stopped out and things of that nature but I'm saying the amount of money you know to get into the trade is very very low outside of the United States so scrolling over okay now at this point I am providing updates okay so I am letting the members know all along that I do think we're going to get a pullback okay now obviously I don't know when that's going to happen but I'm anticipating a pullback because price isn't going to just keep moving up and we had a strong level of resistance at price hit I thought that there was a pretty good chance we would see a pullback okay so what I communicated is that I expect that there's going to be a pullback um, just you know as an FYI but I'm staying in the trade okay so I communicated that because I don't want people to panic I've you know I've seen this before price moves up pulls back someone panics they get out and they miss out on the entire trade okay um, so this pullback is occurring for multiple days okay and at this point of course people who don't have good um, psychological control over what they're doing with the trading they're going to panic you know fear and greed will get them but that's why I'm communicating you know I'm in communication to say I'm staying in you know just so you all know expect the pullback I'm staying in okay now price is still you know at this point now the trend has resumed okay so now we're seeing, you know, we've already taken some profits, but now we're seeing price, you know, make a move to the upside again. And we're still in it. Nice, nice move to the upside. Had our profit target set right here at 86.50. We walked away with 350 pips on this second order, okay? And about 
30 a little over $3,100 per lot on this second order okay now if you've been following me along this whole journey as I've been providing reviews of the swing trades just in a little over a month okay we've taken three trades three profitable uh, all three trades were in profit all hit the profit targets I set and someone who traded just one lot now I don't advocate that people trade the same position size for every trade that's not a good idea but just for the sake of simplicity for someone who traded one lot for each of the trades that I sent out they would have made over seven thousand dollars in just a little over a month okay they would have made back many times the price of the course okay I say this because there's opportunities all around you this is what I noticed pretty early on when I started trading is that I had never been exposed to so many naysayers in my life like I did not know <laughs> that there's such a large population of naysayers and I noticed pretty quickly that there's a lot of people who are just simply getting in their own way there's literally opportunities everywhere and they're getting in their own way and so uh, that's one of the things that prompted me to start extraordinary trading is you know to help people to see that hey these possibilities really do exist I'm a real person <laughs> you know you know the this is possible but anyhow I'll get off my soapbox on that but hopefully you know this inspires you guys to see the possibilities of you know what's out there now obviously um, in hindsight it's easy for people to see the uh, potential but whether or not people can actually stick with it is a different story okay that's where people have to work on you know their own discipline and you know decision making so anyhow if you have questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below and as always happy trading